So I've owned these Audi Bike Mate lights for a year now, and from this Sunday you can pick them up for just $14.99 in store as part of the cycling event at Audi from the 19th of September 21. You can also go ahead and order them online now for just a few pounds more to cover the postage. Let's take a look. So let's start by having a look at the front lights. So you've got the Cree LED branding on one side, there are the two Cree LEDs, and you've got the Bike Mate branding on the other side, and then you've got the physical on off button on top. That also acts as a low battery indicator. Um, and then you've got the four modes of both um, steady and flashing that you can cycle through. So click on once, it'll come on to the last setting you had it on steady in this case. Uh, that's on level one, then you click up again to go to level two, level three, and then the fourth and brightest setting you can see there. And then if you want to get into the alternative mode, so in this case it would be the flashing mode, you double click the button on top, and there we go, we're into the flashing now. And again, it's got four different brightness settings there. Uh, that's one, two, three, and then the fourth one's like just rapid strobe um, lighting as you can kind of make out there. And then just do a long hold if you want to turn it off. Um, so when you're done, long hold and the light will turn off. There we go. And then on the back, you've got the USB cover. Uh, if we take that off, you have a look. So a bit different to what you may be expecting. You've just got the USB connection right there. So that's fine if you've got a, uh, a wall plug that's going to be strong to, to plug that into where it's not going to fall out. So you can see if you put it into the side of a plug like this, it might work, but it's going to weaken it over time so what i would recommend you do is get yourself an extension cable so um, something you pick up on amazon very cheap something like this where you can plug that one end into your charger and then you've basically got the extension to plug your light in and leave it sat nicely on your desk or floor or whatever you're near so yeah you would just plug that end into your wall plug and then you can just connect the uh, the light straight into the other end and not worry about any extra pressure on it or any problems there. So yeah, nice and handy, worth having, really useful to have if you've got one of these lights. I'll just show you the strap on the front light as well. So it is part of the fitting, as you can see. It's pretty strong, pretty durable. Um, I've not had any problems with it in a year I've owned it. And you can see on the furthest setting there, it's got a good amount of flex in it. So I think you're not gonna have a problem getting that onto your bike. So let's look at the rear light now. So the power button is on the face of it this time. You've got another decent strap um, as you have on the, the front light. The difference with this one, I should have pointed out, you can remove the light from this strap. Uh, that's useful for security. It's also useful if you want to mount it vertically as well. Uh, it's got some good strength. It's also got this ball joint, so it's got some movement in it there. So yeah, decent setup there. Um, and you've also got the port for the USB charging just hidden behind this little rubber flap here. It's micro USB. It does come with a micro USB cable if you needed another one, but obviously that makes it straightforward for charging and keeps any water out. And then when it comes to operation, it's very similar to the front light. So you press once to go into the last mode you're in. In this case, it was the steady mode. And then you've got four settings that you can click through. So mode two, three, and four all the way up to the brightest and then double click and you'll go into the alternate mode in this case flashing and then again two three and then a fourth highest mode in the flashing as well and then just long hold to turn it off so i'll just give you a quick view of the lights on my bike before we take them outside turn to night time and do a test and then i'll talk about battery life and recharging Okay, so there's some overhanging tree right by me and there's a fence probably about 20 metres away, I'd guess. So there's the first setting, moving up to the second setting now. Third setting, you can see the fence now and then on the fourth setting, I think it becomes a lot clearer. So just try and give some impression. I'd also recommend you check out my Vast Fire light set review. I'll link you to those because in that video I do compare the two sets. Let's talk about battery life then. So on the lowest setting, so setting one constant on both lights, you were getting over 10 hours out of them. Uh, when you compare that to setting to the highest setting on both, you were getting more like an hour 20 out of the rear and about an hour 30 out of the front light. So pretty decent when you consider those are the two extremes. And also if you have it in the flashing mode, you should get even longer out of it. And then when it comes to recharging, so the front light took about four and a half hours for a full recharge and the rear light takes about two and a half hours for a full recharge. They both have the pulsing light while they're charging and they'll go steady when they're fully charged to let you know. Both lights have a uh, low battery 
battery indicator too so again the uh, light on top on the front one will flash to indicate that and on the rear one to be honest I've never seen it but apparently it does have one I guess that flashes too. So I've been really impressed with these bike lights from Audi, especially at the price point they come in at. Do let me know what you think down below in the comments and if you have any questions. And if the video has been useful or if you've enjoyed it at all, do give it a thumbs up. Cheers.